the second year uh, standing here introducing EZR, and uh, because of the second year, I want to know if some, how many of you have already used EZR before? Some, okay. I hope there will be many more after I've introduced EZR 2.0. And uh, okay, let's start. Uh, EZR 2.0, we will have three, uh, many more uh, improvements. We have a SLAM solution, we have a 3D object tracking, and I will show you some videos as, as uh, some of the slides. And uh, before that, I will have a brief introduction to ourselves. We, our company is Vision Star, and we established in 2012, and we started easy, uh, we started AR, uh, from then, and uh, we have two production lines. One is EZAR, it's an AR SDK, and with many more other features and solutions, with, with customer solutions. And uh, we have a uh, set path, it's an AR platform, AR browser, it's uh, using EZAR. And EZAR was released at AWA Asia 2015. 2015, it's uh, two years ago, and last year here, I presented 1.3 multiple tracking, multiple object tracking, and this year, I have bring you a new version of EZR 2.0. So let's get a brief, uh, some changes to the workflow of the EZR. Uh, first, First, uh, the first version of EZR, it has, it has a camera device and frames goes to image tracker and the, then go to the argumenter. And uh, 1.3, we have changed it a little bit. And at 2.0, we have added a more, uh, another camera streamer component to this graph. Uh, this is because we want to make it more, um, more useful and uh, we have a one-stop solution in which we have a JavaScript API for the Red One and the Java API and the Object C API of most all other components, and they are used at different levels. And we have more language bindings. Previously, we have a traditional C++ API and the Unix 3D API, and at 2.0, we have at uh, C API and uh, C++ 11 API and uh, Java Objective C for native users. This is uh, uh, some comparisons. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. Uh, the left side is uh, 1.3 and right side is 2.0. It's uh, C++ 11 API. And we have to uh, make some changes because we have added some stream, added new streamer component. And most of the APIs are very, very same with the 1.3 version. Uh, you can new uh, camera, new streamer, new tracker, and bind them together, and they will work. It's very simple. Uh, when you want to start uh, tracking, you just you have to just uh, uh, start the camera, start the streamer, and start the tracker. They, are, they can be controlled uh, separately. And uh, each frame you have, when you have want to draw some frames, you want to draw some contents, you have to, have to use the streamer peak API to get a frame. And you can get uh, the targets from the stream with more convenience APIs. So this is a C++ 11 API uh, as previous slides, uh, it's very simple. And then we have a Java and Object C API that are quite similar, but you can you always use your favorite languages. Uh, just Java, and this is Object C. It's uh, generated automatically, so we, we are sure they, are, they have the same ability. Now I, I want to show you our 
new slam feature. Here is a video. Oh, how can I play the video? Okay. This is recorded on the iPhone device. We are not using that sensor here. And we have optimized for mobile devices. If you are using EDAR on PCs, I would recommend to use that for content creation only because we are not optimizing for PCs. So most of the features you, you can test it on mobile phones. It's uh, available on Android or iOS. But the PCs, uh, if you use that APIs, that features in, in Windows or Mac, it won't be such uh, powerful. So this is the API. Uh, you, if you remember the slides, uh, little slides before, uh, there is a tracker. You need to new a new type of a tracker, and you have to check the the type of the targets you have tracked. If you have multiple trackers. This is that easy. It's uh, not. There's not much much differences. And uh, here is a 3D object tracking demo. Uh, so please please the video. We have a same. We, we will put this demo and uh, all its uh, all its code on our website uh, at some time, maybe a few weeks later. And uh, here is another video. Uh, if you have used EZR before, you will know that EZR are uh, using. Uh, please, please play the video. Thanks. Uh, if you have used EDR before, you will know the EDR will not. <coughs> sorry. Do not need to upload images to our website. You can generate targets from image, from JPEGs or PNGs. And for 3D object tracking, that's the same. You can generate targets from OBJ files online. Uh, just when you are when you are running your your demos. And uh, because we have a multiple target tracking, you can track a 3D object together with a image target. And uh, the API callings, the tracking features are not quite different. Okay, let's just go to the next page. Uh, it's still the tracker. Because you have, uh, we have a new type of tracker to track 3D object tracking, and uh, new target type, object target. So you have to change a little bit of your code and check your your target type when you have got a uh, frame objects. That's the only differences when you write uh, this code as you when you want to use a 3D object tracking. And here is another video. Uh, please, please. Okay. This reindeer, you can find this reindeer on at our tools. It's at uh, 102. We will have this reindeer and this uh, demo. We can show you there. Okay, there are many lots of improvements, others like screen recordings. We have a recording feature built inside, uh, and we have a cloud recognition support. 
our client owner recognition will be open in uh, about a month to the global. We have we have already opened that that service in China already, but we we want we need another month to finish the global distribution. And we have many any many bug fixes. Uh, what about the future about the DDR? We are we are doing. Uh, if you, have, um, I'm not sure. It's uh, we have a one-stop solution. It's it's possibly not on our website. It's a uh, DDR with a 3D engine built inside. It it has a 3D editor, and an AI editor, and uh, there are some content management systems. We are already using that for some of our customers, but we, we still need some time to make it, make it more stability step, uh, and uh, open it to public. So if you want to contact us, here are some information. Thank you. Uh, the questions, can we get the slidey oh, questions up there? Okay. Okay. And also, if it's easier for you to read, they're right up here as well. Uh, oh, okay. Right here. Okay. If it's easier. Thank you. Uh, I'm not quite sure about our algorithms right now, but. Uh, Yes, object object occlusion. I think it's a po it's a possible because we are doing many of those improvements already, and we and our slams are still growing. And uh, in a few months later, we have we will release another version of of the improvement improved EDR slam. Okay, the second one, the three D tracking, seems to about tracking texture meshes. Texture meshes. Uh, yes, we we actually we have the three D object tracking. We the input is a OBJ file. If you treat that as a three the texture mesh, yes, that is the standard mesh, and we track the text mesh. And the next one. How about the Android spot what camera calibration is connected? The concern, okay. Uh, calibration, yes, there are some uh, some works we are we have done, but uh, I'm not quite sure. There are some known devices for us. We have better support for that those we didn't know, but uh, we will guess it online. But uh, it may. Uh, maybe a little bit not uh, that perfect. Okay, what is the license like? Uh, oh, I didn't say that. Uh, EDR 2.0, we will have two editions. One is uh, a basic edition and a pro edition. The basic edition is free and uh, you can use it for commercial use, and uh, the pro edition. With the slam and 3D about checking and the screen recording, we uh, it, that's uh, that is uh, I'm, I see it's uh, about uh, 499. Um, the, the price is on the on the website. Uh, I didn't remember the number. Quite sure. Okay. Uh, can you explain the features side of that class? Okay, Set Plus is, uh, we have just released the 4.0 version of Set Plus. Mainly Set Plus, uh, before, it was using EZR cloud recognition very much, and uh, recently, uh, China's market is growing, and uh, China, the, the users use different features in, in Set Plus. We have uh, IMU tracking, feature there, and they use that, that very much. So we explain, explore that, that feature to them, and we, we are using that very much. And, and uh, 
China, there are in China there are many streaming platforms. We we have seen many of the videos recorded in Sat Plus shared on those platforms. So we are actually you developing many different features, some kind of the video recording using IMU only tracking and uh, some cloud recognitions for some of the corporators, uh, corp some of the users. And uh, the SLAM solution, it uh, is not, not, yet, not yet connected, but uh, it will be inside the side plus in future. Uh, the next one. Uh, competitors, okay. That's a tough question. <laughs> competitors, I think there are many of us. We because we do EDR, the low level SDK. We have Set Plus, uh, content sharing platform and AR platform, and we are we have also we do also have some custom services or for our. Uh, for for some users, um, I would say there are many many competitors. Yes, and uh, I, I'm not sure what the USP means. And then, Ken, if you just want to grab one of any of those other questions up there. Okay, the and the final question. question. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Okay. So the last question, do you support plan to, or plan to support tracking multiple copies? We have already have that feature inside. That's released last year at uh, 1.3 version. And this version you can track, as I said, you can track objects, 3D objects and image targets at the same time. Okay, thank you. <laughs>